y'all think I don't know who y'all are to me, right? Think I don't know, like, y'all my ops. Think I don't know that, like, y'all just been trying to just keep me and shut me down, you know. But, see, under the under the disguise of family, you actually think these motherfuckers care, and they don't, okay? Now, let's say if my real mama and my real daddy is listening to the fuck shit from these fake-ass people, right? And my real brothers listen to this fuck shit from these fake-ass people, right? And they go along with the hemming me up. And they go along with the uh, setting me up, right? Guess what? Because they were hoodwinked and bamboozled by fake-ass motherfuckers spreading fake-ass lies on me, giving, trying to give me Y'all fucked up ass life. You know what I'm saying? And if my people fail for the okie doke, guess what? That doesn't work anymore. And so for any of my family, they got hooked up with the fuck ass people, right? You know how you undo that shit? Because since they was told to you on a lie that you never saw Come to flourishing. I'm getting everybody to think here now. Drop them from your energy. Because guess what? They can't get mine. So they're going to still go through y'all. My real mama, my real daddy, my brothers, my sisters. Okay? But once you drop them from your energy, then they starved out even more. But most importantly... The projected karma or the projected illusion that they was trying to put in paint out there about me. So you can jump on the bandwagon and possibly get these motherfuckers money to just set me up, take me out. You know what I mean? And you thinking, damn, I'm going to be cursed. Damn, I'm going to be fucked up. Damn, I might even go to fucking jail behind this shit. No, they will. They will. That's what I mean by... I, I bared all the fucking curses of my entire blood line. Okay? So if you did something directly to me, yes, pay for your karma. But if it was indirectly something somebody else told you and said, and then, um, you know, because you felt like the position that they had, that they were saying some valid shit, and that um, you decided, well, because they know best, I'm going to rock with this, right? They don't. All they want is what I got. All they want is what I had. All they want is what's there for me, you know? And they want you to be trapped up in a, an illusion of fear, pretty much. They hemming y'all up on fake-ass contracts based upon the real person me all they're doing is masquerading around pretending to be me pretending to be my mom and my daddy because my real parents ain't do this shit so my fake parents going to my real parents like yo hey your baby doing this 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 and that <laughs> baby ain't doing shit like that right because see anybody that's around me always is abundant always is prosper always got a smile on their face and always in a loving you know atmosphere immediately when i come around you you healed as soon as you get the fuck within a vicinity of me okay but when people have to condemn you with lies deceit trickery treachery all that shit and they building up lies on me right they doing it like they building a case they just not telling you that the case is false and so they trap you up with your feelings about something that you think is real and it's not. All you got to do is release the fact that it's not real. All you got to do is release the fact that that person that got in front of your face lied to you. And all you got to release the fact is, hey, how I did see them, I don't see them that way anymore. I did care about them. I don't care about them like that anymore. I did love them, but I don't love them like that anymore. So when you release people, you drop people out your energy, you give them motherfuckers to God, okay? They deal with their karma. So right now, there are 
false people, all right, hiding in my energy, okay, pretending to be my mama and my daddy, going and telling my real mama and real daddy lies and fucked up ass shit, just like they're going to tell these real men lies and fucked up ass shit about me. And they going to any fucking family member that's my real family. Telling lies and fucked up shit about me. All you got to do is just remember what those people look like. Remember what the fuck they be coming with. You know, and understand like, you know, when I see her, I see the truth in her. I hear the truth out of her. I feel the truth exuding from her. You know, and if she was all of these things, why isn't certain shit happening to her? And I need for y'all liars of all kinds in the music industry, really in industry, any industry that makes money, okay? Because I am money. That's what a creator is, right? So I need for y'all to tell the truth and say, hey, I've always used her. I've always wanted, like, her life. I've always wanted to take her out. I always wanted to be seen as X, Y, and Z, you know. But somehow, she always gets to win. She always gets to steal my shine. She always gets to one-up me. That is not what I am doing. I come here to do my fucking job that God tells me to fucking do. And so, when you want to steal from me, cipher from me, lie to me, lie to my family, set me up, even set my family up, I am the karma. It don't matter which era and time it is. God is making sure he's trapping all the hoes. He's trapping all the niggas. Right? Don't matter what color y'all hoes are or y'all niggas are. It's the point that you're not letting and allowing the right family to rule things in the right way but you're telling all these lies you're setting up all these plots on the right people so i need for you to tell everybody that we are using them we're using their abundance we're using because abundance in the ethers is grace, favor, mercy, you know, and some old good shit that you see in that fucking Bible, right? And so you say, oh, I shouldn't be talking about like the way the fuck I'm talking, right? And 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 uh, she shouldn't be praised or, or put on a pedestal or, you know, she's fucking up the order. You know why I'm fucking up the order? Because y'all fucked up the order in the first fucking place by getting out of order. And doing out of order shit. You thought God wasn't going to find the fuck out. You know how the saying is? All you need is one. Just take one. One. All you need is a mustard seed of faith. Guess what? I got a mustard seed of faith. A mustard seed of belief. A mustard seed of heart. A mustard seed of loyalty. A mustard seed of respect. And a mustard seed of I don't give a fuck how you feeling or you thinking. Because let's keep it 100. Because you fucked me over and fucked me out of opportunities and fucked my family over. And you know, once you're found out, oh, you did. Because the shit that y'all wish on people is death. The other things y'all wish on people is, guess what? For you to lose your fucking mind. And then the other thing y'all wish on people, yeah, fuck shit. Okay? And then the other shit y'all definitely wish on people is, you want to drain them out of their fucking money? Get them caught up in some stupid ass shit? Just all so you can live their fucking life. God said, I am the key. And the golden ticket. The recipe. You cannot. There's... Everything that everybody has done has shown God in so many fucking ways on how conniving, reckless, 
stupid? You are. But most of all, how you think you can play God. And you think God is stupid. He's not. He just needed one person to gather up all the evidence on this 3D world. So he can crucify you. You know how you crucify Jesus in that fake crucifixion? You know what I'm saying? You wanted to do Jesus. You did Jesus the same way you trying to fucking do me. Because you just like to seek out people like me so you can run them through the motherfucking ground. And, and, and sneakily become them in some kind of goddamn way. Knowing you not. You know what I'm saying? So everything over lifetimes it's in my DNA. Everything in this lifetime it's still in my DNA. So you wonder why I'm still living? God said, uh, see when when, when when you really come out of your your this this bullshit, right? And you know, when you really be crowned for the real shit, right? And so when they got all the fakes in there, wherever they gonna be, right? Cause y'all do a lot of petitioning. Y'all do a lot of fuckery and set up you know false courts and all that shit you know um my blood is the real goddamn deal my blood been on foul shit before i was motherfucking born from my past life and then y'all motherfuckers just been gunning for me in this life okay and you're thinking Man, you guys are really thinking like, yo, we shut this bitch out of the industry. We fucked her over so many times. We tried to kill her so many times. We made it so she can have kids on a regular, right? So she can't have no legacy. You know what I'm saying? And then you might trap some of my family up on whether they got, they owe, they owe somebody some shit. You know what I'm saying? It's lies. Lies. And I'm the debunker of motherfucking lies. So, any of my family that's hooked to all these fucked up ass people, and they trying to tell you all this fucked up ass shit on what's going to happen to you if you keep helping this bitch out, okay? I'm here to tell you, no, it won't fucking happen to you. I've covered my whole entire family. Even the fucked up ones. You know? It's something about persuasion. And it's something about robbing people of their intellect, their intuition. It's something about when you put illusions over people so you can get your way. That's why I break them. But I go as far as to see who's really the culprit. So that's why I tried to tell my family, like, hey, if you did do something deliberately or directly to me, just go to God about it. And do the right things to fix it. Do not be afraid of death. Death is not like always a physical death where you got blood coming out, you die, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes it's just, hey, letting go of that ego, letting go of that pride. Letting go of all the shit that you think is right and you finding out that that shit is a bunch of fucking nonsense and lies. You know what I'm saying? And then you can just turn around, chill with me. I don't give a fuck if you don't like me. You're going to learn to like me. You know why? I deal in all things true. And guess what? Even the fuck shit. You know what I mean? So it's like when you thinking in any industry that you can't tap into because you don't see where a person fit, newsflash motherfuckers, I fit every goddamn where. I'm designed that way. And all y'all motherfuckers that wanted to pretend to be me, guess what? You already know. All your shit about to get snatched from you. It ain't that hard to understand. And if you don't like when that, sh that shit gets snatched from you, and if you don't want to be humble after that shit gets snatched from you, right? 
and then all the right people that are supposed to be in those spots get put in it, and you still want to think you can hide or do some other fuck shit and not pay for your own motherfucking karma, you know, you will get dealt with in the proper context by the proper people. Thoth, the record keeper, he knows what you've done. Anubis understands what the fuck is going on. So does Anu. So, sometimes it's like, you want to count your blessings and just stop. Understand that you're blessed and highly favored and just stop. You know, be thankful that you have the opportunity to just be here and stop. Stop striving for shit that's just not fucking yours. You know, Mansa Musa became the $400 billion man. He won't know none of that fuck shit. He want to run this world to make this world better. Y'all don't want to make it better. God just be like, shit, you got to go. You got to go. I know the people that's supposed to be in these rightful spots. You know why they're supposed to be in those rightful spots? They don't fuck people over for a living. They like to give you some encouragement and some wisdom and some uh, education or some, something. They're problem solvers. They're not problem creators. You know, no one likes to deal with problems all the time. God especially. So, all them little conjuring up shit, y'all be dancing around in the fucking woods with masks on and shit and just fucking aimless asses and fucking aimless pussies and shit. You know, all that. You ain't doing that shit for God, too. It's like, man, I'm not fucking in the name of the Lord. You know, I'm fucking in the name of the devil. Do you get it? It's like the devil gets temporary. Temporary. But God uses the devil to just round all y'all up. That's all. Round you up. Okay. And he got, you know, documentation on you and shit. And then they come on down here and they handle y'all. So that's why y'all don't want me here. That's why y'all don't want me to be in any industry. That's why you don't want me to have any money of any kind. But see, my my real mama and my real daddy understand that. Them fakers are pretenders just trying to be my parents. And I don't even give a fuck if y'all my aunts and my uncles. Okay? You ain't you gonna pose even do this shit to my mama or my fucking daddy. And when y'all motherfuckers can walk and sit and talk and be in our face, knowing the shit you cause, says something about you real deep. And then the other people that's in my family that is in the industry and just wanted to keep blocking me out and then wanted to pay all these fuck bitches and fuck niggas to fuck us over. I'm unfucking all of us. And I'm making sure to fuck you. Or you supposed to be fucked at. And I don't give a fuck how you feel about what the fuck I'm saying. And the way I'm saying the shit. You know what I'm saying? Because God told me I can say whatever the fuck I want to say. You know why? Because I ain't out here doing no fuck ass shit to no goddamn body. And I don't give a shit about the ones that are. You know, so if you don't like my mouth, guess what? It's what my mouth is doing and saying, and y'all sneaky linking, using my motherfucking shit. All you just trying to do is regurgitate the shit out. Spin the block on the motherfucker and trying to pretend to be angelic. And letting motherfuckers know that, no, I don't steal. I'm just so nice. I don't, I don't, I don't. And you do all that shit. And what y'all don't want is exposure to your fuck shit. Newsflash, niggas. The spirit bent saying that shit. 
The ether's been seeing that shit. The heavens been seeing that shit. All the gods been, been seeing that shit. The devil been seeing that shit too. They got like a few errors in time of evidence. That's the, that's the real fucked up shit. You know, that's why I'm still here. You know, it's kind of like you are karma, a witness, a watcher, and you create the rapture, the apocalypse, and become your revelation. So tell the people the truth why you really wanted to get rid of me. Don't that sound like the keeper of all the fucking records? Mm. Don't that sound like the keeper of the fucking truth? Don't that sound like not the imitator God, but the real one? And see, I know I got a shitload of abundance. Shit, 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 shit load, right? And I just had to be happy. And use my motherfucking mouth to do every goddamn thing. Guess what? Because y'all fucked me over when I was in my mama womb. And fucked me over for 44 motherfucking years. God said all I got to do is do a, 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 oh, a jig and a dance. And a song. I get whatever I want. So when I do a dance, I'm dancing on y'all haters. When I sing, I'm singing on y'all haters, okay? When I move my lips, move my hips, I'm fucking y'all up. Because I know how to combine all that shit with full intentions and my mind. And manifest the fuck out of creating what the fuck I want. And you can feel the intensity coming through this goddamn phone. You ain't even beside me. You ain't with me. You ain't riding no rocking for me. You know what I'm saying? You just trying to rock for yourself. You just trying to keep that spot for yourself because you know once your black ass die, you ain't gonna come back. You know, the only way you get the opportunity to come back is to fucking pay for your karma now. And I'm telling you, because of choices you don't have to listen to me you don't have to believe me that's why I make sure I made the message and I keep saying something about the message I use my abundance to buy the planet spiritually so none of your rituals are going to work None of your hexes, curses, voodoo, hoodoo, voodoo dolls and shit is going to work. And it's not like they're just not going to work on me. They won't work anymore, anywhere. And if you think you can just keep going and using your spiritual gifts for evil, God can take them from you. God can take you out of here too. You know? And so the other part of my abundance I use, I want them spiritual goons. Fuck all this earthly shit. You know what I'm saying? This earthly shit got people bound for no motherfucking reason. And I'm a witness. And I didn't watch this shit. So guess what? When you've been through a whole lot of fuck shit, no, your mouth ain't got to be whatever the hell y'all think it should be. And when you want to put all your fuck shit on somebody else so you can understand where the fuck I'm coming from, or you're going to feel the, what the fuck I went through. Yeah. And then you're going to, you better get humble through the whole fucking process too, yo. As y'all think of y'all humbling a bitch, I've been humble before I was fucking born because I had to look at all y'all motherfuckers as y'all would do shit. And God said, don't do nothing to him now. Wait, 
Not be, I might be jumping up and down in the inside like, God, what you want me to wait for? Bam. He said, don't, don't, don't mess up my plan now. You're always a part of my plan. I said, all right. All right, okay, okay. But now I see the plan. You know, he trapped all y'all hoes. He trapped all y'all niggas. In a new era in time. In your own Sodom and your own Gomorrah. That's some powerful shit. And any of my folk that think they gonna get trapped up in that bullshit, you not. All you gotta do is just back away. Release yourself from these people. Who gives a fuck what the fuck they promising you? These are contracts that they're promising you that is linked to a binding death because they want everything to revert back to them so they don't die. Not realizing that death is peaceful. Not realizing that as long as you pay for what the fuck you've been doing, that means honoring who the hell you are in every fucking step you take. Can't nobody kill you. Oh, God be seeing that shit. So when you walking in that real shit, can't nobody kill you. And all the other times that people killed me at any point in time, they had me wrapped up in a lie that they created. But because I love them, it bound me to that lie. And ultimately, that goal was to kill me. They just disguised it under love. Newsflash. All love ain't good love. That's how I know I'm getting views like a motherfucker. I know I am. But on my pages, it say something like, Ah, one person, two followers, and all that kind of shit. And y'all act like I'm just going to be upset about the shit. And, or be crying, like, why I ain't getting my money? Or, you know, wondering about this and that. I'm not wondering about a motherfucking thing. I could care less if I get paid for the shit or not. And it ain't that I don't want the money. And it ain't that I don't need the money, right? But God said, hey, this is another trap for these dumbass motherfuckers. You just let me trap all the niggas and all the hoes, okay? In all the different forms that exist on this planet. We're going to eradicate the devil, you know? And then we're going to show the devil how love really get down, you know? Because love makes things uh, uh, upright, fair, just, you know what I'm saying? And so, the other part of my abundance, after I bought, you know, them, them, them spiritual goons down this bitch, you know, since since that free health care and shit is out there, and y'all motherfuckers know what a therapist and a psych, you know, psychiatrist can do for you, but you don't want to go. You know why you don't want to go? Cause your ass really is fucking crazy, and you know they're gonna keep your ass. And the way you uncrazy yourself. If you say self, I know I got a whole lot of control issues. Help me get that under control so I don't release that control on other people that don't deserve it. And do something to them that will bind me to something of a lesser existence than the one I want for myself. God puts shit in front of you that's always tempting. Because he wants to see how much of yourself have you controlled. It's a learning opportunity. It is a lesson. It is something that you fucked up in your past life. You got to correct that shit in this life. Start correcting your shit. It lessens your karma. Stop waking up every day to do more fuck shit to people. It lessens your karma. When motherfuckers got a plan to do some shit to somebody... Whether you know that person or not, you are automatically a part of that group. And the bigger the group, the bigger the backlash, the bigger the karma. 
And you're probably saying, oh, I'm just one person. All I did was just write a letter for the group and I just gave it to them for them to use. Still a word. It's words on paper. It's a thought on paper. You get hemmed up the same way as all of them. Start having some common sense. Or if that fear hits your ass and then you know how that trickle down effect, look, God ain't got to put that in you. Even though sometimes he does when it's going to be real bad for you, you know. But sometimes it's just knowing from your own parents or just growing up in life and something that happened to you previously. And you're going to be like, oh, this shit happened to me before. Yeah, I know what that felt like. I'm good. I ain't doing that shit. But if you are afraid to say that to these people that you're around, you know, you need to be like, listen, I'm going to call you back. I got to change my baby. She done pooed everywhere. You know. Or you can be like, I'm busy. You know, um, I got some shit I'm doing. Let me hit you up when I finish. Do you plan on calling the motherfuckers back? No. But I'd rather do something small like that 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 karma can easily be erased, right? With a good act than just to follow through with more of the bullshit. And then you got a debt of fucking karma that's been brought on by other people and yourself that's going to be hard as fuck for you to ever get the fuck out of. You know, I practice years of saying yes. I practice years of saying no. I practice years of just being optimistic. I practice years of uh, being in unconditional love. And I practice years of condition. I also practice for my whole motherfucking life to strengthen my weaknesses. Because I never wanted another motherfucker to tell me about me. I never wanted another motherfucker to know me better than me. I never wanted anybody to try to hem me up and know which way I'm going to step and be able to let that shit happen. 